also our uh, press conference where we will talk about a topic that everybody talks about today, sustainability, but not only. The main topic, I should say, is innovation, because after this chapter we will also talk about our new products. Let me introduce, uh, however, uh, what we believe is the unique of our approach. We will talk today about present and future, trying to explain to you, uh, first of all, that we don't use the word, word sustainability, but consciousness. What does this mean? It means we try to be transparent, professional, serious, so to look at the future, but also to talk about the today possible achievements. To talk about today, I would like, first of all, to uh, show you a little video about uh, what is our pedigree, our history behind uh, in, uh, this, uh, on this topic of eco-conscious vision of yachting. Dealing with uh, this topic, uh, with our R&D, with true pioneering projects, 2006 for the first diesel electric, 2010 the first hybrid on a 50 foot boat. So we have done a lot and the past is important if we want to have, a, uh, to announce achievements today because this is not a topic that you can start thinking today and get any result today. These are the three pillars of our strategy. The first one is, of course, always to look ahead, to look what the future, what are the solutions for the future. There is a lot, we, we talk a lot in the industry about what are the future technologies, not only in the, our industry, in general, this is the question mark in the world. Um, the reality is that the, the topic is complicated, probably there is not necessarily one answer only, uh, our R&D department has been uh, focusing on the topic for many years, but it, we felt it was time to look outside, to call the best scientific world to support us in this path, because we need to look not only at our small world of yachting, but to look at a wider world, what happens in automotive, what happens in aviation. We will present to you today the results we have compared and discussed with one of the best universities uh, dealing with uh, this uh, um, topic of what is the future in alternative fuels. As I said, what we like to do though is not just to think about the future, otherwise we just talk in press conferences about promises about things that will happen, but there is nothing to, do, to talk about today. Let me make a summary of what Azimuth Benetti Group is achieving today. Today we have, under the Azimuth brand, um, an important achievement, because in the end this is uh, the two decades of our commitment brings us today to say a good part of our fleet we call it low emission. What does this mean? It means that uh, for all these new models, we achieve uh, up to 30% reduction in emissions. How? You know already the three main pillars. Lightweight, we have been investing a lot in carbon fiber. Efficient propulsion, our R&D, I think, is one of the very best in the world. We have patented hulls that really deliver a difference in terms of uh, um, efficient uh, uh, results and efficient propulsion. Coming to efficient propulsion, diesel electric and hybrid. Electrification is today probably not the end point uh, of this path, but certainly is providing today interesting results. And this is not something we say uh, just because we've studied, you know, the Benetti Beyond is in the water with the Siemens Energy hybrid system. 
uh, the results are absolutely in line what we expected, even a bit better. So this, is, this can make a difference today. Today we will add a new chapter. Uh, we will add a new chapter about fuel. What is the best available fuel today, and probably also in the long future, to add uh, one more piece of the puzzle to make the difference? All of this, how can we move not only us, but the industry as a whole to a further step? Because the problem we see is there is a lot of talking, but there is no real measurement of what this industry is doing. We start from a very obvious comment. If I want to buy a car, I open internet, I open a magazine, and I can read what is the consumption of this car, I can compare. So there is a clear understanding from the market about the situation. This is not what is happening currently in the industry. We feel very important to make a change in this respect. So first of all, to involve third parties. So it's not the shipyard alone that should state what is the result achieved, it should be made by third parties, just like in other evolved industries. This will be another important part of our conversation today. So this is just uh, the framework in which uh, the conversation will, be, will, uh, will take place today. I invite on stage Marco Valle, CEO of the Asimut Benetti Group, who will lead the conversation with some important guests. So our press conference today will try to share the results, not only uh, uh, of our R&D, but has been challenged and proven by the conversation with important partners in the market. Thank you very much.